name is Punungoro Tito John Cuenca. I, uh, was, I grew up in the Philippines. I was born in the Philippines back in 1965. I'm a Filipino martial arts instructor here in Las Vegas, and I teach a style called uh, Ocho Cantos Cali. Uh, Ocho Cantos Cali is a style of Filipino martial arts that uh, originated in the southern part of the Philippines in a, an island called Mindanao. It is a mostly Muslim part of the Philippines. Uh, it was developed specifically for the Horimentados, or the death squads, that, um, that were very, very um, active during the 1800s and the 1900s. They were there to resist the foreign occupation of the Philippines from the Spanish, the Americans, and the Japanese. Uh, mostly, Ocho Cantos was made specifically to train these, um, these warriors to attack uh, very viciously, very fiercely, uh, without regard for themselves. But they were also incredibly intelligent. They were not just uh, kamikaze pilots. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a belief that uh, kamikaze pilots actually were uh, originated. Uh, they got their ideas from the Filipino hormentados who uh, would tie themselves off in specific parts of their body, take their swords, and uh, rush towards a target, uh, usually it's an officer, without regard for the number or the forces that they're going to go up against and until their job was done. Um, in many ways, uh, they are uh, as scary to the Filipino people. They're the boogeymen of the Philippines, like the ninja were the boogeymen to the Japanese people. Uh, Ocho Cantos Cali uh, works on an, what's known as an eight-sided, an, an octagon, let's say, uh, where we, from that, we, uh, we create our eight angles of attack, our eight directions of attack, our three ranges, and our three levels of attack. So from there, you can have a total of uh, 547 different combinations. And an Ocho Cantos uh, warrior is a person who uh, takes all of this stuff, in con all of these things, these factors into consideration when they're planning an attack. So uh, let's just say Ocho Cantos Kali is a style that is a complete martial art, because not only do we deal with weapons, uh, we also do with empty hand, uh, ground fighting, uh, improvised weaponry. Uh, so fighting uh, in the water, out of the water, on the ground, laying down, squatting, uh, basically we, we cover all of it. There are three tribes of Ocho Cantos Cali. Ocho Cantos Cali is the style. Uh, the name of our group as we formed it when we were in the Philippines uh, practicing out of my backyard back in 1980, between 1986 and 1993, we called ourselves Tribo Talim as uh, almost like a, a tribute to our instructor, uh, Guru uh, Ernesto Sison Iasagra, was his last name. Um, we joined ourselves and the name uh, Tribo Talim means tribe of the blade or tribe of the edge. Um, uh, there are Tribo Talim in itself is basically an expression of how we interpret Ocho Cantos Cali. Uh, I'm the leading exponent of the system. So basically what I say goes, uh, a lot of the kids, a lot of the students that I have, I really enjoy it because Tribal to Limb itself, we focus mostly on blade. And that's what we really work on. We work, we're a 95% weapon-based system. So Tribal to Limb in itself is, it, it, basically that's what it is. It's, it's our offshoot or our, our interpretation of Ocho Cantos Cali.